Once the most powerful man in Congress, Dennis Hastert, passes a crush of cameras at the federal courthouse in Chicago to face charges he violated banking rules and lied to the FBI. A somber Hastert pleaded not guilty to both counts. Prosecutors say he was involved in a scheme to pay out $3.5 million in hush money to conceal misconduct from his days as a high school teacher and wrestling coach. A person familiar with those allegations told the AP the payments were meant to hide claims he molested someone decades ago. Hastert's lawyer did most of the talking in court, the former U.S. House Speaker only nodding and answering yes, sir, when the judge asked if he understood the proceedings. My advice would be plead guilty, plead quickly, because you really do not have a defense in this case. Legal scholar Monu Beatty says based on his reading of the case, it's unlikely Hastert will raise the issue of blackmail as a defense. That would mean he'd have to uh, uh, raise the, uh, 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 the supposed allegations, the sexual allegations, so that would undercut you know, the, the, the primary thrust of the defense. As part of the court proceedings, Hastert handed over his passport. He's also under an order to remove any firearms from his property, submit a DNA sample, and steer clear of any witnesses or victims in the case. Neither Hastert nor his attorney commented after the hearing. The man, once second in line of succession to the presidency, faces federal prison time if convicted of either charge. John Moan, Associated Press, Chicago.